there. Welcome to Retro Planner Co. I'm Cheryl. In today's video, I wanted to cover all of the different ways that I like to use stickers in my digital planner. And there are a bunch of different ways to bring in stickers. I am on an iPad and I'm using a GoodNote 6, but this will, of course, work across a variety of devices and digital planning apps. So let's get going. The first way that you can use digital stickers in your planner is the PNG files. Most sticker shops, mine included, come with PNG sticker files. In fact, my sets come with PNG files, GoodNotes sticker books, and Samsung Notes sticker books. So to use PNG files in your digital planner in GoodNotes 6, you could do it a couple different ways. You could just open up your split screen and then navigate to your files and then find the file that you have your PNG stickers in. So we'll just open up the deco stickers. So here you have your PNG files. They will come with a transparent background. You can just long press on it and drag it over and there you have it in your planner. Once it's in your planner, um, you could just use your image tool, tap on it. From here, you can copy and paste or you can crop it um, to different sizes. You have a freehand crop and you have a rectangle crop option. And so now the sticker is in your planner. Super easy to do. And you can just tap on these three dots up top, close, and it'll close that out. You can also, if you have your um, files down in your menu, you can just drag and drop it over and it'll open up the same way. Another way to close it is just to drag this little slider off to the side and then it is closed. My favorite way to use stickers in GoodNote 6 is with GoodNotes sticker books. So to use a GoodNote sticker book, let me go ahead and navigate back to my library. I have them already added, but if you want to add a GoodNotes sticker books, they end in dot GoodNotes. You just tap on your plus, import, and then again, navigate on your device to where you have downloaded the file. So for me, I usually put it on my drive. You would just find the file that ends in dot GoodNotes, which for me, it is this one, tap on it, and then click open, and it's going to import it directly into notes for you to use. So now it's opened up in a separate window, you can see, but if I want to open this like in split screen, it's hard to see on this video, but there's a little icon here you could just tap on and click open a new window. And then you have it available in split screen. My sticker books are designed to kind of be used in split screen, so it works out really well. And then also, if you want to just split screen without having it already open in a window, you can just tap on these three dots up top, split view, open your GoodNotes app back up, which this is my GoodNotes app, find the actual sticker book and click on that, and then you are opened in split screen. And then from here, um, I like to use, you can use the lasso tool. You just tap on it, make sure it has images turned on. You can lasso a sticker and then tap copy, go over to your planner, long press paste, and it's in your planner. I prefer to use the photo tool. I think it's just a little easier and sometimes less glitchier. So you can just long, long press on a sticker. And when it lifts up off the page and you have that little green plus, you can just drag it on over and it's in your planner. You can also tap copy and long press and paste into your planner that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the GoodNotes book. The next way that you can use stickers in your digital planner, and I really like this method for particularly text stickers and widgets, like we um, have widget stickers that are more like functional based stickers that you might kind of use um, across multiple spreads is the elements tool. So to use elements, it's this little icon right here with the star in it, you just tap on it. You can see I already have some in here, but if you don't have any in there, you could just scroll all the way over to the right. You have this little plus icon, and then it will come up with like a new collection. So say I wanted to add my budgeting widgets in here, which I believe I already have in here, but I'll just add it again for the sake of this video. You can click 
um, import from. If you have photos, you can click on your photos and then you can just add um, photos this way. So if I wanted to add like all of these, you could also just drag and kind of select a whole bunch. But so I just want to add these few, click add, and then it'll add it in here. And then you click create, but I'm going to go ahead and close these out because I want to show you how to do the PNG stickers. My favorite way to add stickers to the elements is just to tap on your split view, open split screen, open your files where you have them saved. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where I have the widgets. Once you have it opened in split screen, you can use a really fast way to add them to your elements. So click on your elements, scroll all the way over to the plus sign on the bottom, and then type in the name. And then you're going to take um, these three little dots, click on the three little dots, and you can actually select, click select, and then up here, select all. It will select every single sticker in that folder. You can drag and drop like one at a time, but if you know you have a bunch that you want to drag over, just long press, gather them all up, and just once that turns green, just drop them in. And then from here, once they're all in there, just click create. And it may take a second for it to load depending on how many you have imported. And then you have your collection created. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out so I can show you how to use it. So it is kind of hard to see them um, from the small elements view. Um, if you just tap on one, it'll just automatically add it in. But if you want to see kind of a larger breakdown of it, then just tap this little I button next to your elements and it'll open up in a larger window. So you could just take it, drag it, drop it over. So that is a super fast way to add element stickers. And again, I like to use it for the more functional type stickers. The next way to add stickers is from the web. So Pinterest um, and Google, uh, Safari images, any images that you find on the web, you can just drag over into your planner or you can use the iOS feature to isolate the subject and add them in that way. So I'm going to show you real fast how to do both. So when doing this, I recommend um, if you're using Pinterest to go to the web browser version of Pinterest, not the app. It works better with the web browser. You can use the split view to find your app and open it in a split screen that way. So if you have the browser down on your dock, you can just long press it and drag it over. I have mine already set to kind of open to Pinterest. So when you're on Pinterest, um, say you're like creating a mood board. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, say I want like a, let's see, we'll do, summer mood board. Ooh, these are pretty. So if you have an image that you found on Pinterest that you like and you, you like it as is, or you just want to kind of maybe crop out one or two things, or um, you just don't want to lift the subject off of it, you can just long press and drag it over as is. And so then from there in GoodNotes, you can click on, uh, if you're on your photo tool, just tap on it and say, I want to just crop out like this beach down here or this flower. Just click crop, make sure you're on rectangle. You can drag the nodes in and crop it down to what you want to use and then click done. And there you go. You have a nice image to use in your planner. So if you find an image that you want to use later, like you're not going to use it, you're not going to drag it and drop it directly into your planner, you want to save it to your camera roll to use later, you can find the image, tap on the three dots below it, and then you can click download image. If you click save, it's going to save it to your Pinterest or open it in the app. You don't want that. Download image. If you click download, it's going to kind of pop up with the share options, which is not what you want. So you want to tap on your three dots, download image, and then click view. And then once that'll open up in its own window, you can long press on it and it'll bring up another menu, which now you can share it, save it to your photos directly. 
um, or you can copy subjects from the image. This one's a little busy, so it's probably going to copy like a whole bunch. This is now what you would have previously used to long press and kind of lift the subject off. Now you would just click copy image. You could go over to your planner and click paste and you can see it kind of copied like several different ones. Um, and it's not always a perfect system. Sometimes it'll not take off the entire background, but like kind of eliminated some of their arms, but that's okay. <laughs> So now I want to go ahead and maybe crop out some of these things so that I can make sure I'm on my photo tool, tap it, crop, and then I can just, like say I just want this coffee right here. And then you have just the image to use on there. So say you know you want the image, but you don't want to use it right now. You just want to save it to your camera roll. If you've long pressed on it, save to photos. It should automatically save it into your photo tool. So when you click on your photo tool, um, for some reason it's not popping up in my menu right here. It's popping up with older ones. It just needs to sync and update. Um, if you tap on your photo tool, you have it available right there to use within GoodNotes 6. So that is how you would use them on Pinterest. Let me go over that again, but using a less busy photo so it can show you how to lift that subject off. This might be a good one to use. So if you long press on it, you have this download image, click on download image, click on view, you're opened up to the actual image. You can long press again and then click copy subject, long press in your planner, paste, and you have the ice cream cone. So you can, this is the same method that you would follow now for images found on the web. So I'm in the Safari browser and I've already looked up plants. So if I find a plant, that I want, like say I just want this one right here. If you long press on it, it's going to, um, it used to lift it up from the background and then you could kind of copy it over, but now you have to long press, copy subject, and then long press and paste. And it's taken the plant off of the background that you can use in your planner. If you know you wanna use it later, just long press and then click save to photos and it will automatically be in your photo roll. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to show you how to use images that you've already saved, like say you've gone and searched and you have a bunch of different images saved in your camera roll and now you want to include them in your planner. So it should automatically sync with your camera roll. Again, it's taken a while to show up on my bar and that's just a good note syncing issue. You might have to close out good notes and reopen it and then it'll pop up in your bar when you're on your photo tool. There they are. Now they're there. So the ones I just recently saved are on here, which I could add directly into my planner and I can crop them. But if I want to isolate it from the background, then what I would need to do is just split screen and choose my photos from there. Or mine is um, saved in my doc, so you could just long press, drag it over. And then from here, you can tap on a photo. And then here you can, if you find the right spot, once you get that little border that shows up, you just tap. Try to get it and when it lifts off the page then you can just drag it over and use it in your planner that way so i will go ahead and do that for the other image i have this car image that i saved earlier just long press once you see that outline kind of pop up it's good to lift up you drag it over and resize it and use it in your planner so the final way that you can use um, images or stickers in your planner is you can actually make your own stickers now with a recent, fairly recent iOS update. To do that, you could just open up your images again if you've saved the images from the web into your actual images. And you can open up the image, select, select the image, release and then instead of pulling it off the background click add sticker and it'll automatically add it into your sticker quote unquote book you can change the effects around your actual sticker you can certainly just use it as is but if you want to change the effects you can long press on it and then you click this little extender here and you click on add if effect and from here you can choose like a fun little outline comic puffy sticker 
um, shiny sticker. This is kind of fun. And then click done and it'll save it that way in, um, in your actual stickers. So to use these stickers that you create in your planner, click on your text tool, tap to add text. And then when your keyboard comes up, you're going to click on your emojis and you'll find your recently created stickers in here. You can also tap on this little sticker button and it'll bring it up in a bigger screen so you can see them a little better. So you can actually edit your stickers from within here. So if you long press on it, click the extender, click add effect, and then I can add like an outline to that one and done. And then from here, you can just take it and drag it directly over into your planner. You might have to resize it just a bit. And then you have your custom made sticker already in there. So again, I'll show you that one more time. You just click your text tool, tap, click on your emoji, and then here are your stickers that you can use. And then to open it, and you can use it from here if you just tap on it. it kind of brings it in a little small, but um, tap on your emoji, click on this little folded up sticker icon, and it'll open it up in the bigger view. And then again, you can just long press drag or Just click on the sticker. So those are all the different ways that you can use and create stickers to use in your digital planner. You can use PNG files, you can use GoodNotes sticker books, you can use the elements feature, and you can grab images off of Pinterest and the web and now use them in your text emoji stickers. So I hope this video has helped you to increase your creativity when digital planning. Have a great day.